Hello friends. Welcome back to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In the previous sessions, we have seen the basic parts of GitLab and GitLab Runner. Now this will be a continuation of a GitLab CI-CD tutorial for beginners. So in this session, we will start with the CI-CD pipeline, how to create pipeline. So in this session, first we will just have a re-look on the basics of CI-CD. Then we will see how to create your own CI-CD pipeline on GitLab. So when we say about CCD pipeline, we will talk about GitLab-CI.YML file and also job. What are the jobs in pipeline, and also different kinds of stages. There are more about CI-CD pipeline like tags. There are artifacts. There are lots of things which we can do. But we will start with a simple project with the jobs, stages, and how you know pipeline look like. So without any further ado, let's get started the session. So guys CI stands for continuous integration, and CD stands for continuous delivery or deployment. So if you see like continuous integration, it have a build and then a test and the merge. So for example we have different kind of developers is working on a project. And they have their own feature branches and they are working on their code. And they will commit their changes on the code. So it can start an automatic build job to integrate those changes, then it can do a small unit test. And if it passes it can merge those code changes. So that would be the continuous integration and all should be automated. Then if you talk about continuous delivery. So this will be the different phases or how it look like in continuous delivery. Like after your continuous integration we will have an acceptance test which will be an automated one. And we will be also deploying our application to a staging area. So the difference is like we are stopping the automated process still staging area, and we are not having the automated process to deploy production. So the deployment to production will be a manual step like we need to confirm from our so that it can be deployed to the production, so this will be the continuous delivery process. Now when we talk about continuous deployment the whole process will be automated. So what means like as soon as you make some changes in your application, the whole process will be automated and the new version will be deployed into the production. So that's a basic information of CI-CD. So now let's get started to the actual demo on that. So as you can see, I am logged into my GitLab account. And as you can see there are a few projects but I am not going to use those project. So for this project I am going to create a new project. So let's click on it. It's going to be a simple blank project so click on it. And here I am just going to call it, Demo, CICD. I am going to keep this private because I am doing this for all this testing and learning. Now let's click on Create Project. So once you create the project, you can see we are inside the project. Now in order to have a GitLab CICD what the basic requirement is. Like we need to have a file called gitlab-c.yml so as you can see we have our blank project with just this readme file. But if you know it can be any project we need to have gitlab-ci.yml file. So let's click on this plus sign here. And then new file. And here I am going to create this file. You can see. This will be the syntax or the name. .gitlab-ci.yml in here. We also have different option for apply different application templates. It will give you some template like how you using deploy and all. But we are not going to use any of this. Now the basic thing in CI-CD pipeline is you have jobs. You will have stages. So what we will do is. We will just write some jobs. So I'm going to use job1. And the basic requirement for a job is like you need to have a script. So I will run a script. And I'm going to echo it. As this is a first demo job. So that's the basic requirement you should have. So let me commit this change. Now if I go to CICD, then pipeline, you should see like there is running right? And if I click on it, you can see there is job 1, which is running. If I click on the job 1, it will show you like the process which is running and it says job succeeded. So now if I go back to the pipelines again, now you can see it's passed right? And if I click on it, you can see the job name is job 1. But you can see here, it's called test. So this is a stage, so by default if you don't give any name for any jobs under which stage, it should be running on the test stage. So let's go back to the editor. 
Here I will just copy this whole content. And let's paste it here. And now I am going to change it to job 2. So I will make this a demo job 1. And this demo job 2. So now we have job 1 and job 2. And both runs these contents under script. So let me commit this. So as soon as you make the commit, it will check the GitLab configuration it will start the pipeline. So with any changes you make it in the GitLab project, it will start the pipeline. So if I go back to the pipeline, you can see it's running, and if I click on it. Now you can see there are two jobs, but both are clustered under the same stage, and it's running CD parallel right? So you can run two project parallel, so it's not like first job will complete and this will run it on the after it. So now there will be scenarios where you have a build a process to be running first. Then after the build you have to run the test. Then maybe after a test you have to run the deploy. So if you don't define the stages all the jobs will run parallel. So that may not be the actual requirement you need. So let's go back to the editor. Now what you can do is. I will go to the top. And here, I will put stages. And we will put like build as one stage. And then we will put test as another stage. And then we will put deploy. So now we have three stages defined. Now what we can do is. We can segregate or we can attach our jobs into the stages. So I will put stage here. And I will put this will be under stage build OK. And I will change the job into build job. And I will also change the content to build job OK. So this will be the stage 1. And now I can put the stage 2 here. It should be test. So I will map this job to test. And also change job into test job. And passed it for another job which will be the deploy job. So let's change it into the deploy job. And let's put this into deploy. And also change this. So now what we did is, we defined three stages build, test, and deploy. And we are mapping our jobs into each stage right. Now let me commit this. Again it's checking the GitLab configuration. If there is any syntax issues it will show you it's not a right one. Let's go back to the pipeline. Now you can see it's running. And if I expand it. Now you can see. We have three stages. One is build. And another one is test. Another one is deploy right? So once the build job is completed the test job is started. And once the test job is completed it will start the deploy job. So that's how it will be now because of different stages. So guys that is the stages and jobs in GitLab. So this is a very useful, and that's how you should write your code. You have to understand what has to run or you know serial and parallel so you can define your jobs. Like this should be my first job. I should become completed first in the build section. Then it has to move to the test. Then it has to move to the deploy. Now you can see all the job has completed right? So that is an easy and simple tutorial to give you the basics of CICD pipeline and the GitLab. I hope you all guys understood the concept. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.